Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's continue our pilot carrier. So let's load the American US carrier. Let's see what's going on. I was talking to myself what to do this evening and I've decided to fly this American carrier for, just for you. Be seated. We have been assigned escort duty. Today's target, Calais. The bomber's target is a no-ball site located around the area. Rendezvous with the big friends here and escort them to their target. Watch your fuel and stay with them as long as you can. Watch out for ground fire. Enemy flak at the target area is expected to be heavy. Our forecasters are calling for clear skies over the target area. That is all. Any questions? Dismissed. No questions. So we can expect some heavy flak over the over the Calais in the area. So let's see. But first, let's start our powerful Merlin engine. This Mustang looks amazing, it's simply a, a beast machine. I like the shape, how it looks like. Like this B variant looked like normal, like ordinary aircraft from uh, that era. Like the Spitfire, some, I don't know, some 109s and many, many other fighters. But the D variant with the like bubble top canopy looked like uh, anything 20 years younger like the true beast looks looks very modern like f-16 for example and i simply love how the d variant looks like it's, it's, it was amazing aircraft very very easily constructed easy easy to build perfect powerful engine it was a british rolls royce early engine So it was a British Rolls Royce Merlin engine produced in uh, in license in in America and put in these aircrafts. Like really good join of the American aircraft and the British British engine. So it's all together worked perfectly and uh, it was it was the best fighter of the Second World War definitely. And it's so even so battle, so some battles in the Korean War, so it's very, very efficient and uh, probably the main, main fighter during the Second World War of, of, uh, of the United States. Initially, the the it was meant to be uh, for the Royal Air Force only. Not for the not for the U.S. Air Force. Initially, the Royal, Royal Air Force asked. Uh, they 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 know that they need a lot of a lot of fighter aircrafts, so they asked the Curtis Company whether they will allow them to build B-40 in, in a license. So to to build these these fighters for them. And many of the P-40s already served in Royal Air Force, so Royal Air Force was satisfied with them and asked uh, the Curtis to produce more fighters for the Royal Air Force. But uh, they were like unable to comply such such big order, so they asked the North American company to build the P-40s for them. And the North American uh, said that they will. Uh, bring a new aircraft for the Royal Air Force, completely new aircraft, different than the P-40. And uh, they did it, so they, they introduced this uh, airframe, initially with the American Ellison engine, which was less powerful than the, than the British ones, especially in the, in, the, 
in the high altitudes it, it lacks uh, a lot of thrust so basically the first like A variants of the Mustangs were like uh, not so efficient in the in the high mid mid to high altitudes so they they fought only above the ground but they were like very very famous and very popular amongst the pilots so they uh, they put the British Merlin engine into them like like to build to which were built in America in a license and uh, it was the best joint of the engine and the aircraft maybe in the airline history so basically it was the the best combination it worked really well and the aircraft was amazing simply as as that okay I've lost the time compression probably some fighters fighter. are near Eleven o'clock. I don't see them yet. I will stay in a formation. Oh, I see them already. So let's head there. Looks like they are going to attack us. There are no bombers. I don't know where the bombers are. I can't see them. So we have to fight these fighters by ourselves only. So it's a typical dogfight of two fighter groups. This is Blue Four. Copy. I'm focusing on this one, Focke Wolf. Oh, there are the bombers, so definitely we'll need to solve this quickly and going to help them. All of my shots missed. Okay, a few hits into Bandit. Another hits. Okay, hopefully he's going down, I don't know yet. Looks like he is still somehow flying. Let's keep him. Hopefully he's going down, looks like so. Okay. He's dead. Let's kill these guys. Like the Mustang was really the best aircraft definitely for the Second World War. No matter what country you look like you, you look. has a great range, for example the Mustangs were able to escort the American bombers to bomb the Berlin from, from UK, so basically all the flight there and back they were able to escort them, so this massively changed the, the way how the air operations in Europe look like. First they were unable to do so, so they, they had like big losses in, uh, in the crews and the bomber groups. 
but after Mustang appeared, so he was able to escort this. Scratch one bandit. These bombers. And it helped a lot. I'm not gonna follow this bandit, definitely he is followed by another aircraft. So I'm gonna focus on another bandit. Like this one for example. But let's keep the distance, I don't want to get hit by the Allied gunners. Great. He is going down. This focal was being hit from time to time by the by the defense defense gunners, but looks like he's dead already, or he's no, he's <laughs> he's in control. So he was flying for a long time, just just straight. So I was hoping that he's going to be to be dead in the cockpit. Okay, few more hits and he's okay. Good kill, good kill. Mm, this is not looking good. I'm installed already. Yeah, exactly. No way, no way, gain some speed already, get that. That's so bad, that's so bad. Okay, I will need to refly this mission. I was captured, so I shot down like three, three enemies, and uh, and just because I bailed out, none of the eighteen assigned B twenty six was able to reach the reach the destination. So that's that's so bad. When whole like campaign depends on one pilot only. So let's fly it again. I already knew how to how to get out of the of the stall, but it wasn't working in this mission. So probably I got into deeper stall than than usual.
leader, this is Colgate Control. Hammer flight, vector 150. Angels 10, over. Copy that, Colgate Control. Vector 150. Okay, so my autopilot did the perfect turn. Don't know why. completely unnecessary I was perfectly in a formation or almost in the formation with the leader so okay so let's use the time compression just to be as fast as possible on the other side of the canal. We should be able to see our guys. Okay, there they are. So there are marauders. B26. Hammer flight 5 miles. Vector 180. Angels 10. Over. Copy that, Colgate Control. Vector 180. This is Hammer Flight. Glad to have you in flight. Over. This is Red 1. Copy that, Hammer Leader. So we are flying ahead of the bombers, very significantly, in front of them. Which is probably a good tactic, just to just to be the first who is meeting the, the bad guys, so not the bombers but us. It was strange that these uh, like bomber crews had such such big casualties and still were like uh, heroic enough to to attend on other other flights. For example, the the fighter usually was able to get easy much easier from the cockpit if if necessary. Usually they just roll out the aircraft upside down and uh, open the canopy and he bail out very easily. But it was very hard for the for the bomber crew just to bail out from the aircraft which got hit. Just imagine the that you are a pilot or a navigator in a, in a cockpit, and you have to uh, unfasten your your seat belts and run somewhere into the into the middle of the aircraft and uh, open the emergency exit there and bail out. So it was much much time complicated than the than the fighters were. Okay, I said I can see the enemy fighters, fighters already. Keep your eyes open for enemy fighters. Let's get them. There they are. It was true heroism just to fly these daily missions over the France and over the Germany. Like just imagine that you are on the, uh, you you were born in America and uh, you 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 have to fly Where's somewhere into target? Europe Ten out. Over. and to help them uh, help them out to to deal with the with the Germany. So these were like true heroes, to be honest. I'm gonna pick up this guy. It's his fault that he's so slow and so low. Not my fault. to the stall again okay I have control and I 
<laughs> I luckily fall out just behind the bandit so I can continue my job. Let's check the situation with our bombers, they have company, so definitely need to move there as fast as possible. We have to make sure that these our guys will return home. It's our job. I remember one movie when I was a small kid. It was the Memphis Belle. I'm pretty sure all of you know know this know this movie. It was about one crew which uh, has to has to attend on the last flight of their turnus. Usually the turnus consisted on uh, of uh, 25 flights, and they have to fly on this last one over the German city Bremen good kill, good kill. this was amazing amazing shooting like I'm really happy with that almost all of my bullets got into into the target Scratch one bandit. And it was very dramatic and I liked the special effects in this movie like it was about just one flight over to Germany and but you always fall in love with this crew it was like very young guys uh, from different parts of, uh, of the United States and really amazing story about them and uh, it's it's based on a true story so that's that's, that's even more intense just when you imagine that such young guys have to have to face such uh, such horrors this is this is a pretty good fighter to be honest okay he fell out There they are. I got one. This mission goes better than the previous one. <laughs> it's always like it's not always. It's usually like that. If you got shot down or something, something bad happened to you, you make it, you made it better. So. That's maybe this case. Uh, luckily, all my guns are working in this uh, now, so that's also a positive thing. So that uh, I have like four guns instead instead of three only. There are definitely some some bandits there, but okay, I'm not able to lock them anymore. But I still have something locked. Heading 93, so that's my heading. I'm gonna join these uh, these bombers. When I press the T key, I'm locking enemy bandits, and uh, I locked currently something, but I do not see the where he is. So that's interesting. Altitude. 14, 4,000 uh, 4, So he's lower than I am He is a little bit faster, not anymore So I'm faster than he is He's heading 94, I'm heading 100, so 
basically I have to close the distance between me and him. It's probably that dot in the distance down below. There was a bandit previously, but he disappeared from my... I wasn't able to lock him and that's... Okay, that looks like another fighters are coming our way. <laughs> Do you see that black dots in the distance? Okay, there is another bandit on the on the coast. I can see him now. Okay, these are the bandits again, so we have to be careful and uh, let's let's climb some altitude because they are higher than I am currently. It's eight aircrafts only, so we might be. No, it's not eight. Come on, it's twelve. We might be okay with them. It looks like these are two, two engine, twin engine. Okay, they are, they are Messerschmitt Schmidt hundred tens, definitely. Let's focus on this. This is a lone aircraft. He, he is out of the formation, so made a mistake and let's let's punish him how did he so fast I have to fly into the in his circle just to close Bomb the distance away. He's really fast. This is Colgate Control. Mission is accomplished. Nice work. Over. Copy that, Colgate Control. Ouch. good for you. playing with him too long, to be honest. I need to finish him already. It's very difficult to match speed with him for me. Die already, okay. I'm out. Six o'clock high. Six o'clock high. I hope these are the friendlies heading fifteen. Might be they are returning to home plate but I have a company behind me I'm faster than he is so probably I'll be able to run away and I need to climb a little bit just to get help from these bombers
I will bait. I will bait him just to fly into our formation and. Uh, Okay, these are friendly bombers definitely and there are the friendly fighters as well okay so we are slowly closing and he's still behind me you can see him there let's select him he's climbing with me flying my heading so let's fly just uh, around these bombers and there is another group of bombers that's interesting these are approaching the target area and that's probably there might be different group of bombers wow that's uh, pretty nice I'm bailing out. Six low. and this is our group of uh, bombers and they have problems with uh, some enemies, looks like. The bandit is still behind me, he's closing. So let's speed up a little bit. So sad that I don't have ammo. Where is he? I can't see him. Okay, there, there he is. Okay, I see him now. Okay, there is another enemy, but I'm not able to shoot him down. So let's let's join the group and let's fly somewhere in the middle of them. That might help us a lot. And let's see what's going on here. Oh, whoa, whoa, not so close to me. It looked like Messer Schmidt uh, 410. Not 110, but 410, the modernized version. Bandit is still following me, so let's see how the how our bombers <laughs> deals with him. Hopefully they will shoot at him. It's pretty amazing this scale of this battle. Like one big group, one big bomber group is flying to the target, other is returning. It's it's amazing this this scale of this of this game. I truly feel like in middle of the of some battles. Looks great to be honest. I don't remember whether this mission was accomplished or not.
Gee, he launched something like missiles, this 110. That's cool. Mustang is down below, also unable to shoot probably. Out of ammo. Oh, that's a bad luck for this guy. I hope he will got shot in the other engine as well. Okay. The rear gunner is still able to shoot at me. Another Messerschmitt going down. Hopefully. Looks like still all of, all of these B 26 are flying with us. Still full, full boxes of these. Looks like they are trying to shoot me down by the rear gunners. So why not to fly in front of these bombers and wait for them to kill these one tens? There should be a British coast visible very soon. Multiple hits into him. Oh, he is hitting the leading bomber, and that bomber is is, is being shot down. Okay, so this is our first loss on the way back. I'm so so sad to see this. I wish I could help them, but... Messerschmitt is closing again. I can see him. 
the smoking engine aircraft, that's him. I don't know whether he is still trying to target me or some of these bombers. But he's closing very slowly, I'm too slow as well. Okay, he's attacking bombers, so let's see. Where is he? Seems like no smoke is coming out from the bombers now, so probably his attack wasn't successful. Would be so nice if I had like more ammo. I wish I could end his miserable day, but what can I do? Looks like he's returning home already, so let's... It was the last enemy here. he is and that's the only enemy behind us and looks like he's flying home his heading is 130 so he's flying south and all the other aircrafts are friendly so Also, the sounds in this game are like very beautiful. The gun sounds, these engine sounds of these bombers, when you fly past them, is simply amazing. Such, such roaring sound. Very deep. It sounds great. Okay, let's ask our ground control about the. Home base. Colgate Control. Home base. 50 miles ahead. Vector 300. Copy that, Colgate Control. Vector 300. Okay, let's fly home directly. Well done, everybody. Well done. 300. Let's check the fuel. Fuel looks like still is full somehow. I don't know whether this is working or not. I think that the fuel is the is the bottom right corner of my dashboard. Those like multiple digits. The top is the oil, maybe temperature. Yeah, there is degree Celsius, so it's a, a temperature of the oil. And then there are two digits uh, uh, below them, below, below the oil temperature, and it is the oil amount and the fuel amount on the right side. So basically, it looks like I'm still somehow f full of fuel. If we increase the speed or the thrust, also the oil temperature will get higher
there is the coast 50 miles so I will ask on the coast about the about my base see the base yet 330 okay let's ask again Okay, I see the base now and it's 10 miles, so it's interesting to jump from 5 miles to 10 miles. And the base is down in the distance, so... Let's fly there as fast as possible, I can always reduce my speed. No problem with that. I'm sure that you can run out of fuel in this game, it's definitely uh, simulated here. But I cannot imagine the length of the flight to, to run your Mustang out of fuel, so... It was an aircraft famous by his endurance, so... Basically, we have to fly from, from Calais to Berlin and back to Calais and back to London to get out of fuel in this aircraft, so... I'm gonna use the two-thirds of my flaps only. Okay, this was pretty pretty nice mission. If I can summarize it somehow. I, I was probably able to shot down like three enemy aircrafts. So that's a pretty pretty okay result.
Okay, end mission. Yes, it's always good to uh, wait for this like ask. So, 18 of our 18 assigned B26 were able to reach the target. Five enemy aircrafts were shot down. One P51B was lost. I've got promoted to first lieutenant. That's amazing. And I shot down like uh, three fighters, three Focke Wolves only. Okay, let's see my logbook. So another promotion and another three kills. Three Jerry's won't return home. That's always amazing when this happens. So basically guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm going for a holiday in London for three days. So I will do my next video after I return. So let's leave to London. Okay, it was approved. And I will do my best in my uh, next video. Thank you for watching. As always, have fun, take care and bye.